Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Want to throw some tarot? Huh? You guys want to throw some tarot? See what the cards have to say a little bit, about a little bit, about something, something. Let's see what the cards all have to say. Let's just do it. I hope everybody's been doing well. I've been doing well. I am ecstatically excited that spring is on the horizon. Let's throw down. Let's do some tarot for Taurus. I am a Taurus sun and Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus, but I am a Taurus sun. Give me a minute to channel, and we'll see what these cards have to say. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. On this significant day in time, what do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirits, spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they have to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, goodness, most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Y'all, I just feel like I need to do this again. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Spirit, tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it that Taurus needs to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Right there. Let's see what this says. All right. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Two, three. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Prince of Wands in reverse. And the Nine of Pentacles. Ha, huh, we could probably read this whole thing backwards. Look at that. We're going to take all of those, but they got to go in the order that they came out. Hold on. It'll be interesting at the end to go back and address those. All right. First card out. Ouch. Four of Cups in reverse. Emotionally apathetic. Emotionally withdrawn. Um, emotionally indecisive. The hangman in reverse, resistance, delays, stalling. The ace of cups, new love, beginnings in new love, emotional growth. The emperor, we'll see what that's about, to the eight of wands, movement, action, change. The ten of swords, grief, sorrow, pain, endings. The hermit in reverse, withdrawn. Death in reverse, personal transformation. The king of cups, to the lovers in reverse, to the three of swords in reverse, judgment in reverse. Okay, the prince of pentacles, strength, and the ten of cups, the two of cups in reverse, the three of cups in reverse, the princess of wands in reverse, the tower in reverse, the eight of cups, the nine of cups in reverse, and the fool to the two of swords. That's perfect. Eight of pentacles, temperance. All right. Yep, Seven of Pentacles in reverse to the Six of Pentacles. All right, that's real. We'll stop. We'll stop with the Six of Pentacles. All right. Oh, look. Y'all are just like all crooked and stuff over here. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can turn this for you. Hold on a second here. Let's see. I hope I have any contraband on my table. All right, that's better for you guys. Sorry about that. 
Got it. Got all into it and lost my uh, lost my senses there. All right, you guys. Couple of things you need to know about me before we dive in here. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I probably, most likely, will swear, and I smoke my vape on camera. If any of those things bother you, the neighborhood is too rough, and you need to carry on with yourselves. Otherwise. Let's dive in. Let's clarify this. Let's sew together a story and see what the heck is going on here, Taurus. So the Four of Cups in reverse. Emotionally apathetic. The Hangman in reverse. Resistance delays stalling. So tell me. Tell me what the bridge is here. Is it that Hierophant? Oh, wow. Okay. Hierophant. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, I see. Okay, all right. Ace of Cups, what's this about? Remember, I'm going to go back and explain it to you. The Ace of Cups, new love, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, loss. All righty. What else? What else? To the Three of Cups in reverse. All right. <laughs> Okay, the Ace of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, so tell me about this Emperor right here. Tell me about this. Tell me about this Emperor right here. Tell me about this Emperor. Tell me about this Emperor. The Ten of Wands in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so balancing it out and dumping a burden moving in a different direction, the sun, what you don't see clearly maybe. Tell me more about this. Nine of bad decision, judgment in reverse, painful lesson. Oh, okay. To the eight of wands, movement, action, change, and the wheel of fortune right behind it. Okay. Wow. Tell me uh, where this wheel is taking Taurus. Where's the wheel taking Taurus? What's the next phase here after this? What is the next? All right, Taurus, this is what's happening right here, okay? This is what's going on right here. So, first card out is the Four of Cups in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse is emotional apathy. It's um, resistance. It's refusing to acknowledge or accept something emotionally. And the hangman in reverse says that it's about delays, stalling, um, this, this, this lack of progress. Um, this is what the problem is, okay? So your emotional apathy is a blockage to your cycle, okay? So there is some kind of a, of a, path that you're on right here and there's something that's going to come in and happen that is going to take you off path if you play with it okay the hierophant there is some kind of commitment being offered to you whether it's romantic or not there is some kind of commitment that's being offered to you um, ties commitments obligations of some sort seven of pentacles says you better give it a good hard long think Think about it. Think about it long and think about it hard to the world in reverse because it is um, not only a blockage to your progress forward in your life, but it is also, um, it's also, how do I explain this? Um, a repeat lesson, right? If you engage in this yet again, because I'm here to tell you, spoiler alert, this is coming back from your past somehow, some way, and it does not have to be love, okay? But it's coming back from your past. It's a blockage to your path. Think good, long, and hard about making any kind of commitment or obligation to this situation. Your emotional apathy about your intuition, okay, is... is going to lead you astray. The hangman in reverse says, resist this. What is it? Well, the ace of cups. There is some kind of new beginning in love for you. Okay. New beginning in love to the emperor. Um, and you hold this person in very high regard. Uh, perhaps this person is older than you. Um, perhaps this person, somehow, some way, this person is elevated in your mindset. Okay. 
and Ace of Cups, new, fresh, beginning emotions in love, and the Emperor, this person, okay? Eight of Wands, this new beginning in love with this person is about to change everything for your life, okay? 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 Okay. What's the problem? What the problem is, is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse says that you cannot build the kind of future that you want to build here. There is no foundation. It's a precursor to a tower. There is no foundation by which to build what it is that that is contained in this commitment card of the Hierophant right here. The Hierophant, I want to point out also, is telling you to be spiritually wise, right? It is the card of Taurus. It's telling you to be spiritually wise in the situation, okay? So there's no foundation by which to build. Three of Cups in reverse. There is third-party interference. It's all over this reading, and you'll see it as we go. Um, there is there is too many cooks in the kitchen. There are too many cooks in the kitchen, okay? The Emperor, the Ten of Wands in reverse, um, releasing an overbearing burden, Two of Pentacles, and balancing and prioritizing. Prioritizing what? Well, the Eight of Wands in this respect is about going in a different direction. The Sun in reverse, what you don't see clearly, judgment in reverse, that this is a bad decision. Nine of Swords in reverse, that is going to end in a painful lesson. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, you might think this is a turning point for everything. Ace of Cups, Emperor, Eight of Wands, right? The, something's rolling here. Whatever it is for whoever it is, it's rolling. And you're thinking it's a good thing. But I'm here to tell you, these cards are saying it's not a good thing. You think it's a turning point. But what Spirit says with the Wheel of Fortune being Major Arcana is that, yes, there is a turning point that you're going to miss if you take this turn instead. Okay? Three of Wands in reverse. Lack of foresight. You're not seeing what's ahead of you. You're not seeing. You have tunnel vision because this is something that is emotionally overwhelming for you. And the Four of Cups in reverse says you're refusing to see a certain aspect of this that is very, very critical to your future. What is that? Well, it's a blockage. It's a blockage to where you're supposed to be going, what you're supposed to be doing. And it is yet again the same lesson that you are going to repeat. Whether it is a repeat lesson in the same relationship or if this is a repeat lesson that you have had to experience in all of your relationships, for whatever reason, you're not getting it. And it's directly associated to your emotional refusal to accept or believe something. Okay? So free will, you can have another go round with this, but you're going to get the same shit that happened before, whether it's with this same person or it is your behavior pattern. Until you figure this out, you're going to keep repeating it. You're going to keep dancing with the same demon, but in a different format for the rest of your life. This is important for you to understand. Maybe this is the first good thing that's come along in a long time, whether it be a human being or an opportunity. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm all over it. I haven't had a date in six years or I haven't had a new job opportunity in 30 years. Whatever your thing is, you're thinking it's awesome, um, but it's not. There is a turning point for you in your future, but this isn't it. All right. The Ten of Swords. Endings, pain, betrayal. The Hermit in reverse. Withdrawal, isolation, loneliness. The Four of Cups in the upright. Contemplate, reconsider. We're trying to give you some information that's going to bring stability with the number four into your emotional processes. Ace of Swords in reverse. You are in denial about something. To the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um in denial about maybe the true upset that is really happening in your home, your family, your life, your work, maybe. Um, but you are in denial maybe about... Oh, I'm coming back to that, to the Two of Swords, right? This is a crossroads. So denial, crossroads, withdrawal. Ten of Swords, ending. Give me one more on all this, please. Ace of Wands, yep. To have a new beginning. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, new beginning. Ten of Swords in reverse. Renewal and Queen of Swords. Okay, so, so, 
endings, okay? So you have had a go round, like I said, with this person or this or, or, or yourself, this lesson over and over and over again. Ten of Swords says it's time to bring it to an end once and for all. And the Hermit says, withdraw your energy from this situation. Okay? To the Four of Cups. Contemplate and consider Ace of Swords in reverse. Some, things, some kind of truth isn't being told to you. Okay? And then we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Perhaps someone is telling you, maybe that's where this Three of Cups all over the place is coming from. Perhaps someone is telling you that they have divorced or they're separated or they're breaking up with someone or the position, I'm going to fire that person so you can have that position or um, something along those lines. But it's not true. They haven't terminated whatever it is that needs to be terminated because there's untruth. There's untruth that you don't see, right? The Four of Cups says contemplate, reevaluate. The Queen of Pentacles to the Two of Swords. This, this is a crossroads. Why? The Ace of Wands, because there is a new opportunity here, a new inspiring opportunity. Ten of Swords in reverse for some kind of renewal or regeneration. And the Queen of Swords comes on top of it and says, Throw that sword up and mind your thoughts. What you think about comes about in your life. Take a step back and think real hard about this whole situation because you're about to enter into the same old, same old, no matter what it is for you, you're about to enter into the same old, same old yet again. Death in reverse. Spirit says it is time for a transformation. It is time for you to transform out of this repetitive cycle of your life and step into your power. Death to the old so there can be a beginning to the new. You've already been through this too many times. If you've been through this already with this person, you've been through this with other people in your life as well. And if you're going through this constantly in your life, somehow, some way, um, it's you. It's you. You're not learning what it is you're supposed to be learning about yourself. Take a step back. Give it some deep, deep thought. Reevaluate your belief system with the Hierophant. The world in reverse because you're doing it wrong. Death in reverse. Transformation. What's this massive transformation? What comes to you when you finally stop doing this? And you straighten up and you brush the dust off and you square your shoulders up and you put your eyes on the prize and you move forward and you say, I am choosing growth, wisdom, and understanding instead of my immediate flesh desire and human needs. That's the transformation. What happens? Ace of Cups. Well, first and foremost, there's a shit ton of emotional growth. Secondly, New love, real love, is going to come your way. Ace of Pentacles, there's going to be a brand new opportunity to sow your seeds on fertile ground to the lovers in a true divinely orchestrated relationship, a relationship that is important to your life. Does it mean forever and always amen? Well, a lot of y'all hope it does, but sometimes it doesn't. You just enjoy the significance of the relationship while it's happening. You appreciate it after it's happened and you carry the fuck on. Why do people hold on to a relationship that is not in their best and highest good? Why do people do that? Just say namaste. I, my energy, my energy appreciates and respects your energy. Thank you for the journey. Thank you for the time that we've spent together. Is the separation painful? Of course it is because we were intertwined with one another. But this is where the journey stops. I wish you nothing but the best, even if we don't get along, even if I hate your guts. I wish you nothing but the best. Namaste. And go in your separate directions. Why does it have to be always a victim or, or an abuser or a narcissist or all of that stuff? Why does it even have to be that? Why do people hold on to shit that no longer serves their best and highest good? I will never, ever understand. And that's what this is about right here, kind of, sort of. 
Because if you will choose to go in the direction of your spiritual growth, if you will choose your spiritual understanding over your immediate human understanding of the situation, there is so much better on the other side of this. King of Cups, someone who is mature in their love. You're going to mature. Ace of Cups, right? Emotional growth. The King of Cups, being honest and fair with yourself and your emotions and pulling your shit together. King of Cups, so someone who truly knows how to love you can actually love you. Lovers in reverse, because this relationship that's coming back into your life is not viable once again. This lesson that's coming back into your life is not viable once again. Stop doing it. Lovers in reverse. It's bad choices. Bad choices. King of Cups. If this is a job or some other situation for you, the King of Cups says it's going to be extremely emotionally fulfilling. Extremely emotionally fulfilling. You're going to get emotional growth. There's going to be new opportunity to the lovers in the upright in a significant um, relationship, whether it be with a person, place, or thing. There's going to be a significant relationship. This one that you are repeating here, this behavior, is not. King of Pentacles. Uh, King of Pentacles. Uh, you, you, for some reason... Keep, because you see him as the emperor right here, right? You, for some reason, are trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. You're trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Um, you're, this is not your king of pentacles. This is not your ideal person because there is someone else or someone's else all over the background. And I'm fixing to get to that in just a second. This is not your king of pentacles. And if we're talking about Taurus in the king of pentacles, get control of yourself. Hard. Stop. Get control of yourself. Five of Cups, the loss, the regret, the despair, the disappointment, Eight of Pentacles in reverse from what didn't work out in the past. Get a hold of yourself. Three of Swords in reverse, come to terms with things. Come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain um, of this lesson, of this person, of turning down this person. Come to terms with what it is that you need to fix within yourself to stop doing this to the four of swords hang up look the four of swords is coming out of the three of swords right he's got these three swords hung on the wall behind him right here and he's giving thanks that he has come to terms with the grief the sorrow and the pain in his life he's picking up the fourth sword he's bringing stability to his mindset and he is going to push forward and carry on and that's what they want you to do come to terms with this Whatever this is for you up here, come to terms with it. Why? Judgment in reverse is not in your best interest. It's a bad decision and it's not in your best interest. And deciding to not decide if it's a bad decision or not is a bad decision. It's just in the negative all the way around. Judgment in reverse is also about self-doubt. And like I said before, maybe this is the only option that you have. Maybe you're lonely. Maybe you're bored. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But maybe this is the only option that you have. And your self-doubt, will I ever get a chance to be with someone again? Will someone ever love me again? Will someone ever, will someone ever, will someone ever? That's the judgment in reverse. And that's why it's a bad decision. And that's why deciding to not decide is a bad decision. The Empress. Remember who you are, Taurus. Remember who you are. The Empress is lesson number three of the Major Arcana. She is the third highest entity in the tarot. Why? Because she comes from lesson one and two. Lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about. Lesson two is the high priestess. Your intuition constantly trying to calibrate you to your true north. Constantly. The soul's journey. Lesson three, the Empress. Why? Because she minds her thoughts and she only manifests according to her intuition. That makes her supremely powerful. And you have that power. I have that power. We all have that power. We all have the power to step into the Empress. We all have the power to be the Emperor. We all have the power for the Hermit, the Hierophant, the Lovers, all of it. 
We have the power for all of it. Remember who you are and use your internal mechanisms to see the reality of this situation, make the right choice and allow spirit to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path instead of you trying to egotistically orchestrate the steps of your path. A lot of y'all are to say, I'm not egotistical. I'm not egotistical. Well, you are if you're choosing your flesh understanding over your spiritual understanding. You're absolutely egotistical. It's Prince of Pentacles. Same old, same old. Different shit, different day. Same shit, different day. I guess that's how that goes. Same shit, different day. Over and over and over again. Cycle blockage. Strength. You're going to need to be strong, real strong. How do you get strength? Well, you identify your demons and you conquer them. Your own issues. You look in the mirror and instead of saying, my life would be just fine if everybody wasn't so stupid, you look in the mirror and you say, why am I so stupid? What am I doing wrong? What do I need to fix about myself to make my life go in the direction that I want it to go? Because I am stuck on replay. I'm stuck in a loop over and over again. The same kind of people, the same kind of situations, the same kind of everything. When is this ever going to stop? Well, it's going to stop when you decide that you're tired of your own bullshit. Strength. What's, what, what's the future hold? Well, the tower. If you engage in this, it is going to blow up in your face. It is. High Priestess in reverse. If you ignore your intuition, Seven of Swords, you are going to be betrayed. There is betrayal going to happen in this relationship to the Seven of Cups. Be careful. Options, choices, decisions. Be careful about what you choose right here. Because it's going to affect the rest of your future. I wish I wish this was a personal reading so I could tell you exactly what it was. So we knew exactly what we were talking about. If you want your cards read, hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. The Ten of Cups. This is what you want. You want this so bad. That's why it's the Ace of Cups and the Emperor. And the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Wands. You want this so badly. Two of Cups in reverse, but it's not viable. It's not viable. The Hermit in reverse withdraw. Three of Cups in reverse again. Third party interference. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many cooks in the kitchen stifling the creativity, the creation of a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. Princess of Wands in reverse. This is... Uh, It's a lack of enthusiasm. So what it's saying is don't be enthusiastic about this. The tower in reverse, avert disaster. Have a personal transformation. Tower in reverse is about a personal transformation too. What's that personal transformation? Learning the lesson about your self-worth or your self-doubt or why it is that you would want to re-engage with this. To the eight of cups and walk away from it. It's not good enough. It's not good enough for you. It's not. Spirit in this wheel of fortune right here and the lovers and the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups and the death card. This is what's good for you. This is not good for you. Walk away from it. Nine of cups in reverse. It's only going to bring you despair. The fool. There's better. There's a new beginning. There's a new journey. There's a new direction in your life. But this is not it. Do not engage in this out of desperation or settling. Don't do it. There's a better way. Two of swords. Yeah, you are at a crossroads. Only two choices. You're either going to keep doing the same bullshit or you're going to change. And that's just the way it is. You're either going to do it and do it over and over and over again. Or you're going to take a step back, figure out what your own issues are and stop it. Go back, look at your childhood. Two of Swords, you're at a crossroads. Six of Wands, you're either going to have victory, progress, and success over this battle in your life. Three of Swords. Or you're going to have grief, sorrow, and pain again. Your choice. Two choices. Eight of Pentacles. 
work your shit out. Work it out. Work on it. Work it out. Compound the lessons from your past. Apply them to your present and your future. Work out your issues, your own personal issues, not this person's issues, your issues. And yes, you do have issues. Temperance. Balance yourself out. Work this, work on this, work this out, balance yourself out. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, because if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. To the Six of Pentacles. And if you want a peaceful, happy, prosper, prosperous life, you need to reconsider your mode of operandum. Why? What's all that about? Well, Eight of Cups, again, walk away. It, it's, it, it's, there's better for you. It's not good enough. The devil, it's toxic. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. That's why the world card's in the reverse. That's why they're telling you in the center of your reading, all of this revolves around you engaging in the opportunity that is supposed to be for you instead of engaging in the opportunity that you think is your only chance. Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past. Same old, same old, same old cycle. Same old, same old, same old, same old, stuck in the past. Check your childhood. Choose wisely with the Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups again, third time. Walk away from this. Heartache and loss is the only thing on the board. Partnerships and alliances. You've been here before. You've had some kind of heartache and loss in this type of situation in your life before and it's coming towards you again because you keep doing it. The Hierophant, reevaluate your belief system. Reevaluate the things that you believe about yourself, the things that you believe about life, relationships, the way that things need to be. The moon in reverse, come to terms. Come to terms with a huge internal struggle. It's always the same. It's the struggle between that which we know to be true and that which we really don't want to be true. Come to terms with it. King of Wands in reverse. Don't live in your ego. Do not live in your flesh and your ego. Do not be self-centered and egocentric. Don't let your limited, limited human understanding help you to make bad decisions. Think deeper. Think Think harder. Feel your way through this. King of Wands in reverse also tells me that you are dealing with an egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic type of personality. They only have their own best interest at heart. That's why the Three of Cups is here three times. Two of Wands. Look into the future. Again, two choices. You either stay where you are or you move forward. Those are your two choices. Nine of Pentacles says, stand in your power. Bring all of this. <laughs> Excuse me. Stand in your power. Bring all of this to a culmination right now. Prince of Wands in reverse. Stop taking any kind of inspired action to manifest this into your life. Five of Pentacles in reverse to the Six of Cups in reverse. Because something's coming out of the cold and it's from your past. And it's the same lesson that you learned the last time that you engaged with this. And here you are thinking about engaging with it again. Oh, but they've changed. They're an emperor now. Oh, but, oh, but. No, same, same, same. I hope this helps somebody somehow, some way. I do hope this helps somebody. Um, yeah, namaste.